Reno, Nevada, by night, a world-class gambling mecca. During the day, the attractions include the new National Automobile Museum, where some of the most fabulous automobiles in the world are on display, including unusual concept cars of another era, bizarre cars built by men who could see into the future. We'll go back into the past for a look at early innovation in automobile ingenuity. Some of it worked, some of it didn't. It's all next here on the Supercharger. Illinois is the land of Lincoln, of course. Here we've got Lincoln. As you can see, I'm standing in front of what I promised you, a very, very special streetcar. This is a 1989 Suzuki Sidekick, and as you can clearly see, it is completely covered with hand-carved wood. Now, I want you to meet the person that actually did all this hand-carving. Gazi, will you come in here, please? This is Ghazi Asakar. Ghazi, did I even get close on that name? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about this. Uh, you are a hand-carver hand -carver. from... Lebanon. From Lebanon. Why did you do this? I did it to show the people something beautiful, and that's uh, the main thing. So to you, this is art then, and it is yes, art? it is. Okay, yes. this is absolutely beautiful, and I'm going yes. to uh, ask Ghazi if he wouldn't demonstrate a little bit of how he does this kind of artwork. Can you do that for us? Sure. That's how I do it. Ghazi, thank you so much. Your work is absolutely beautiful. I want to show our audience just a little bit more of it before we go to the next vehicle. This is the Sears Tower. It's still the tallest building in the world, 104 stories. I would also like you to look at the hood. This is exquisite hand carving. The next car we're going to look at is perhaps even more unusual, if that's possible. Let's take a look.